first to Friday. So the practice compactification is a simple idea of achieving stabilization of extra masses on the phase arising from Kaluza time space time spacetime compactifications. And for example, the in some space theory in higher dimensions. Planning <coughs> on a magnetic flux inside a non trivial cycle in the extra dimension of X, then this flux does not break, obviously, does not break the four dimensional Lorentz invariant, but there exists uh, some energy cost depending on the metric on the extra dimension X. And this energy generation generates a uh, potential for uh, the modular fields and achieve uh, stabilization of masses module. So the string theory has enough preferred gauge fields to realize this scenario and uh, a complete setup after taking the current current reduction, the dimension of super string theory on carrier three fold or to be twelve dimension F theory on carrier four fold, reduced to a class of four dimension F one effective theory with a uh, generic scale of potential uh, already defined by uh, all the works were, were gentlemen in supergravity experts. And uh, this uh, diva corresponds to the domain of modular fields. And uh, actually, I think we be imposed the so called non field structure. And uh, in my talk, essentially, this first, uh, this part is only relevant for our discussions. And uh, this scalar potential is completely fixed by the scalar potential K and the super potential W. And they are uh, completely specified by uh, choosing the vacuum geometry, uh, say, parameter manifold, and uh, specify the vacuum proxies, integer vacuum proxies. And uh, especially we examine our vacuum structure of a model based on the f theory flux compactification, and we study the uh, vacuum structures, and they find an uh, interesting phenomena. And this is a complete uh, model that we study. And the theory on a cardinal protocol is actually dual to the even dimensional M theory on the same cardinal protocol. And their uh, effective theories, after taking the space time compactification, is uh, well known. And uh, especially uh, by using the real symmetry techniques. This difference, uh, we totally sp I, I totally skipped the detailed discussion or construction, but uh, after uh, computing some topological calculation from the approval, we can explicitly obtain the uh, unique uh, four dimensional one effective theories arising from S theory compactifications. And uh, this is an uh, explicit form of KL potential and the simple potential. And the novel point is uh, because of the we uh, study the actual quantifications it's beyond the simple uh, with the regime of type 2 be super string and actually our model has an extra degree all the correction in sorry company. Yeah yes minus is five nothing but the one of us yes yes it's super print and uh, that's the potential is given by this form and uh, especially we have a uh, even independent popular proxies contact and this uh, even the uh, independent proxies become a uh, input data for modular stabilization. So uh, here uh, we focus on a special class of uh, proxies for the cellular proxies to uh, study for studies of the vacuum. And uh, by taking the, by choosing from the cellular proxies, uh, the super potential of the model reduces greatly simplifies as follows. And it is set up by usual computation for necessary as uh, the usual computation for F time condition, we can easily obtain a uh, Minkowski vacuum of uh, for the explicit model. And this is our result. And uh, this uh, we actually we have three independent modular fields, and there will be a party zero, but the energy party is completely fixed as follows with second and three conditions. And later uh, we will revisit this expression analytic solutions to discuss a different context, different topics in the super problem. So on the other hand, it uh, analytically uh, obtains a non-supersymmetric vacuum divided by this is a 
very uh, difficult problem. But actually, by taking a numerical approach, we can uh, study its working structure for a non-supersymmetric bucket. And actually, we uh, consider a uh, numerical problem within a uh, range of proxies smaller than 10, so minus 10 to the 10, for given independent proxies. And use, uh, just using five minute function in Mathematica, we found, uh, after, a month, after two or three months of competition, we obtained that uh, this is a, uh, a normalized uh, scalar potential, and this is a certain uh, coupling, and this is a normalized scalar potential. So, so obviously, it's not completely random. Actually, this, this dot each corresponds to the independent uh, flux factor and then, uh, uh, around 10,050 10, mark solutions. And uh, so seemingly monotonic and diffusing behavior with respect to the deal of certain coupling. So this is very interesting. Maybe larger certain coupling prefers small value or cosmological constant. This is a vacuum experiment. Uh, energy of the flux. So they, maybe this indicates some logic as well. This, is, this provides a strong motivation for studying logic and model building in F3 context. But as a physicist, maybe what can last, what we, what, what's going on, indicating some physics or not? Maybe even for mathematicians, as, as uh, some physics or not. So, Actually, we finally, in the process of verifying the underlying dynamics, we finally conclude that uh, this uh, monotonic behavior is deeply connected with a different topic in supergravity referred to as a attractor mechanism for uh, equal to supergravity. So in attractor mechanism, the normalized from superpotential <coughs> hypothesis here is nothing but a central charge of a graph flow system and subject to a monotonic gradient flow around the direction of a radial direction of near horizon ADS2 cross S2 geometry. So what precisely is the attractor mechanism uh, is called by this gentleman is uh, the statement that in class of extreme graph flows n equal to supergravity the modular field are drawn to a fixed values at the horizon, regardless of the initial conditions or values at the asymptotic infinity. So, and there the fixed values at the horizon of the modular fields in, on the graph flow <coughs> system uh, can be completely determined by the so called attractor equation of this form. This Z is uh, the normalized superpotential, and this pi is a uh, normalized uh, so-called field uh, integrals of the underlying collective manifold. So if we, once we specify a set of fluxes, uh, the dynamics of or more values of the moduli at the horizon are completely given by this distribution. And in fact, a uh, simple possible existence of this kind of correspondence has been already partially pointed out, partially studied before are only for type to be super simple fluxes uh, by Renato Carosho and another very few, quite few groups by uh, study or multi-dazz this correspondence, but still unproven because of the lack of knowledge about the underlying uh, attracting graph graph object in higher dimensions corresponds to the fluxes. So uh, from this perspective, the suggestive uh, monotonic behavior we observe may be reflect the dynamics of the corresponding attractive object in <coughs> F theory. So, as a non trivial supporting evidence for this conjecture, uh, we first confirm the Minkowski solution we uh, mentioned before, I mentioned before. Uh, actually, indeed, Simultaneously satisfy the generalized version, I mean generalized this 
uh, usually that uh, equation usually assumes a four dimensional input tool and the proximity equals a special equivalent geometry. But if we go beyond the special equivalent geometry in going to the equal one and first work here, then the Minkowski solution we found satisfy the abrupt equation of the generalized form. So uh, this is our uh, our result for abstractive extension of our <coughs> equations, and we already checked that analytically that uh, so as a Minkowski solution to satisfy this equation exactly. On the other hand, how about a non suzy solutions? And uh, actually, we uh, numerically check up to some accuracy, 10 to the minus 20. Uh, the non suzy flux structure we obtain <coughs> actually uh, satisfy the same same kind of adroptal equations. Uh, and uh, so uh, this may be concluded that our demonstration should be regarded as a prediction. If there exists an adroptal graph object in the framework of S theory, uh, if object quantities uh, like vacuum uh, shine quantum entropy, Extracted from the central charge of a drop pool would exhibit the same characteristics as we observe for FCOE practice for quantifications. So, how many minutes are you? Is it not five minutes? Five minutes? Maybe okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, the conclusion and the discussion. So, we examined the rapid structure of four dimensional F1. <coughs> Effective series of modular fields in F theory compactification, and especially we analytically for Minkowski factor and we may buy for non Suzy factor that uh, their distribution uh, we computed, and they uh, all the examples we found uh, correspond to the other solutions for F theory. And the main feature directions are, uh, of course, uh, because this maximum character correspondence is still unclear because of the knowledge of the mechanism in higher dimensions. And uh, it may be interesting to further investigate this kind of correspondence. And uh, of course, we uh, constrained, we consider the actually or in my paper, you know, the paper uh, we also study the type of the bit of but as a type of the BFCO or FCO quantification, maybe interesting. And the really important problem is uh, because we uh, import the non scale structure and uh, completely ignore the Kerr model dynamics. So if we uh, extend our model uh, for Kerr model sector and completely fix the Kerr model, then maybe our model. Uh, is directly uh, related to the digital model building, and uh, the result may be uh, the target of other logical circle conjecture uh, recently widely studied. And, you know, the chief is in the audience, and uh, maybe it's interesting to discuss the logical circle conjecture, the relationship to the conjecture. And uh, I think that. Uh, for uh, 20 years ago, or maybe by uh, Michael Douglas, already uh, started the statistics of flux on the scale, maybe interesting. Because uh, he computed the number of density of the flux uh, and uh, he already uh, provided several predictions, and maybe it's interesting to compare with his results. So that also some people in our attention.
Yeah, yeah. maybe, maybe, uh, I, I think the similar will be able to be built on the similar will Thank you. Thank you very much. Any other questions or comments? So, do you have any comments on the study team or non specialty practitioners? Uh, actually, your practice is quite unstable. Uh, so yeah, the for, uh, application to the uh, so you need to take... Yeah, yeah, this uh, corresponds to the care homogenous organization because they have the no-scale potential as a runaway potential around or along the care homogenous direction, but, uh, yeah, but in our model, uh, inclusion of radical scenario or radical scenario by including the non positive effect for care uh, homogenous field, it is uh, actually it's easy to construct at least for toy model and level uh, uh, consistent uh, model. So, but but uh, yeah, it's 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 totally important problem for uh, total uh, instability of the Okay. So, any other questions or comments? So, let's uh, let's speak again.